Welcome to Linus Tech Tips. Today we're going to show you how to encrypt a volume on your computer, and that can be kind of like a, like a container, like a folder that you'd put a bunch of stuff in, or it can be in the form of an entire drive in your PC, or even something like a removable drive. So it's done at a partition level, and we're going to start with how to create that container. So the first thing you do is use TrueCrypt. Basically, thumbs up. TrueCrypt does things right. You want to never save history. That's important. Click Create Volume. Here you get a bunch of different options. So we're going to show you the create encrypted file container, although create a non encrypt a non-system partition slash drive is a good one as well. And it has a couple slightly different steps that we'll show you at the end. We're going to use a standard TrueCrypt volume. A hidden TrueCrypt volume is a little bit different from a standard one. So what that is, is it's an encrypted, it's an encrypted container that has an encrypted container within it that's invisible. So if you guys understand what that means, it's like if someone had a gun to your head and was like, let me into that encrypted folder or I'm going to pop you one, you know, and stuff. Um, then you could give them the password for that one and they would actually think, you put some fake stuff in there, so they would think they're getting your important stuff, but it's actually within another container inside of it. So that's probably unnecessary for 99% of people unless you're like the CEO of, you know, Toyota and you have a new car coming that's better than all of your other cars and you don't want people to know about it. Um, okay, so you create a volume location. Select a file. So we're going to, we have, we have one that we created already as a test. So this is just going to be the test one. Save. And this file you can put anywhere. It, the computer won't even know what to do with it. If you double click on it, it'll just ask how to open it and it won't, yeah, it won't know what to do. Never save history. And you can hide that anywhere. You can throw it in like a system folder. You can even keep it on the desktop because it won't look like anything. You could call it A and it wouldn't be descriptive at all. For encryption algorithm, use AES and the default hash algorithm is also fine. Click Next. You can specify the size of your volume. Much like a folder, you can just say, OK, we're going to create this sort of this container that's going to be 10 gigs big and that's what we can put in there. So we're going to create one that's 10 gigs. Shows you how much free space you have on the drive where you created the container. Next, password. OK, password creation. Lots of special characters are good. It has a limit of 64 characters, but some of the strongest passwords and easiest to remember could actually be a phrase like capital rumble the cat is a good pet is actually an extremely strong password because of how many characters it is. You can confirm it. Rumble the cat is a good pet. And then you can actually display password to make sure that you typed it correctly as you were going. Next, large files. Do you want large files? I would pretty much go with yes because that's just the, uh, the file system that it's using. So we're in NTFS. This stage is important. You want to move your mouse around as randomly as possible because computers can't be completely random. They just don't work that way. And they want you to kind of make it more random by being random about the way that you move the mouse. So there you go. That's about as random as I think I can be. The longer you go, the stronger the volume will be. So if you want to sit there for an hour, you could, but I suspect there's a law of diminishing returns at some point there. Now we format our encrypted volume. And yay SSD and fast processors. It is uh, creating itself at around 600 megabytes per second. So we'll be able to uh, come back and, well, you know what? Uh, whatever, you guys can just chill. You know what's a good joke? You hear the one about the... Uh, Actually, I don't. I can't think of any jokes right now. You hear the one about the uh, SSD that uh, raced a hard drive? They beat it. And I'm getting like the thumbs up from Slick. Do you hear the one about the mechanical keyboard that died? And I'm getting the sad face from Slick. <laughs> it's alive. And apparently it's alive now, so Slick's keyboard is fine. There we go, and we're done. So now what we're going to do is go into our Documents folder. Be done. OK, you know what? It doesn't matter, because I can show you guys the other one I created. So here, legitimate G-rated movies is right here. It's some file. It's 5 gigs. If you double click on it, it has no idea what to do with it. So the way that you actually access it is you go to, there we go. That one's done now. So you only click Next if you want to create another one. So actually, yeah, I said I'd do that at the end. So let's do this first. So mounting a drive. Look, for, okay, so you enter a, hold on. Yeah, you have to select a file first. So we're going to go with legitimate G-rated movies. We are going to mount it to drive letter M. So this one was, this is a strong password. Okay. Yeah, 
this. Oh, I don't think I capitalized. Okay, no, really, this is a good way to do it. There we go. So now it is mounted in drive M. So now our computer actually just sees it as a normal disk. So you can see that there are legitimate G-rated movies inside. If we wanted to create, if we wanted to mount another encrypted volume, we would just select another drive letter, select a different file, such as test one, and click mount, typing in uh, rumble the cat is a good pet. And that one is now mounted in drive letter Oh, there you go. There's our 10 gig volume. Now the procedure is slightly different for something like a USB drive. So in this case, we're going to take it one step further by not only encrypting our volume, but also having it hidden inside a pen. So this USB drive is going to go into the computer somehow. There we go. Okay, that did not fit that well. So we're going to go ahead and put it in that one. All right. So removable disk E, encrypt a non-system part. OK, so we're going to create a standard one again. We're going to select our device. So you actually select the partition right there, partition 1, 3.7 gigs, which is essentially the whole drive. You can select a whole drive, but it won't work if you already have partitions on it. Click Next, create encrypted volume, and format it. There we go. And from there, all of the options are pretty much the same. It takes a while to create the encrypted partition on a USB drive because they're so slow. So what we've done is we've finished that. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Now there's a couple different ways that you can access them. You can see here, you need to format the disk in drive E before you can use it. If you format it, it will format it. It'll wipe it because Windows doesn't know what to do with this encrypted volume on here. So a couple different things you can do. You can auto mount devices so that TrueCrypt will look for it and help Windows find it, or you can select a device and go manually to the device and mount. I actually forget the password for this. What was the password for this one? Was it? No, it wasn't. It's like, this is a good password. This is a strong password. Oh, wait, no, it was the Rumble one. It was the Rumble this one. Is strong password. Rumble is a good pet. Nope. Rumble is a good cat, whatever. The point is, if someone doesn't know your password, it'll take them years and years and years to brute force this. So uh, make sure that you remember your password or you're going to end up in a situation like this and you cannot get it back. Very important. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.